We started with uh, Agenda 2030, the Sustainable Development Goals, with a very good paper presented by Professor Brown uh, on uh, the SDGs, and then followed by a technical paper from the FAO. Uh, we also talked about uh, climate change, AMR. Interestingly, I was uh, monitoring the number of contributions to each of these top to all the topics, as well as, as well as the timing of speakers, the duration of speakers. And I will tell you that these three topics, number one, the SDG, the discussion on SDGs was the most popular. It had the highest number of participants, followed by climate change and AMR. Uh, in terms of timing of speakers, believe me, uh, the most it was between one to eight minutes, but most was within three to five minutes. But we, of course, we had outliers. That that is those who spoke beyond that three to five minutes range. Uh, about six of them spoke beyond. Uh, this is basically pointing to the fact that if we can manage time better, even what we have achieved in timing during this quarter can be improved upon. Well, I think uh, this COAG, this time, the 25th COAG, has moved on very smoothly and successfully compared to the 24th, which I witnessed as Minister of Agriculture, Forestry and Food Security of Sierra Leone, in the sense that uh, we were time conscious, uh, we deliberated on topics uh, professionally, and uh, we were very firm about our decisions, and uh, we made sure that uh, we virtually kept to the topics because uh, there were temptations to move away from the program, but uh, we kept firmly to the program. And that is why even yesterday we were able to conclude early enough for the drafting community to work. And uh, that is why uh, this morning, in fact, the draft uh, report is already being translated, unlike previous times when people work overnight and morning to prepare the draft report. That is an indicator of the progress we made during the, this quad.